Hey guys, Ryan Hoffman here at Summit Funding. Hope you guys having a are having a great week so far. Uh, I wanted to share a couple things today because uh, I'm not sure if you guys are in the same boat. I've had some major issues with just exhaustion and running myself to the ground, and I had to do a couple things. Number one, I realized that I was waking up earlier and earlier and going to sleep later and later because I was trying to outwork my exhaustion to try and get caught up rather than getting enough sleep. And that sounds like, hey, why are you even bringing this up? I think this is something that we're all dealing with in this crazy market. We're trying to outwork our exhaustion in order to get caught up and then feel like we can sleep. But in reality, we need to just get some sleep and get caught up. So uh, for example, last week, uh, I felt like 75, 80 hour work weeks were going on for the last couple weeks. And then I ended up sleeping for 12 hours straight on Saturday. And I realized after I woke up and felt like a totally new person again, Oh, duh, I got to take a step back and look at it. So if you're in that position where you feel like your wheels are spinning like crazy, take a, some, a little bit of time, step back and re-examine your, uh, your whole life functions, workflow, uh, sleep patterns and stuff like that. And think about reprioritizing the things that are really important. Sleep, uh, time in your uh, spiritual study, reading the Bible is it for me, and making sure that you're getting an adequate amount of workout and your diet's in order and then refocus on your work and how you structure that into your time. One other thing that came up recently, uh, Aaron is one of my coaches that I have right now, and he's freaking awesome. And he brought up something in the, asked me a question in the perfect way to really make a difference for me. And that was, he said, you can, I could tell like right now, you could make way more, you could be doing way more volume than you are right now. And it's just whether you wanted to or not. So do you want to? And just asking that question in a way that totally opened up doors rather than closing them made a big difference for me. So it's not so much that someone said, hey, you should be doing more. It's you could be doing more if you wanted to. So do you want to? And it takes it from a much different stance. So I want you, if, if I can give any advice today, ask yourself that question. Do you want to do more business and make more income than you are currently making? And you could say, yeah, I'd like to, but I don't want to work any more hours. And you say, if I could make more money and work the same amount of hours, do I want to? Yes. And there is a way to do that still. So if you want to play around with ideas and questions like that and see if there's a way that having a good lender partner might make a difference for you to help you do that and increasing your conversion, maybe using getting the same amount of leads, but getting more closed transactions out of those same number of leads. Let me know. I'd love to walk through some options with you and see what I can do to help. If you're already working with me, I appreciate you. You're awesome. Uh, and then lastly, I'm going to share this little thing. I have compliance says I have to send this out the right way. So hold that up here. Make sure it fills up the whole frame. Compliance, don't give me a hard time. There we go. All right, cool. You guys have a fantastic day. And uh, let me know if I can work with you. I'd love to work with you.